I'm kind of busy right now. Wrong number, Beach. This is not Svetlana. Damn. Can't hold it steady. My hand is shaking. They didn't tell me it was going to be a woman. I thought it would be a guy. Some big, mean gangster. I get his skull in the crosshairs, and bang. Easy. I can't. Damn it. Who's that? You're behind schedule, Stas. Sorry, guys. I can't kill her. Oh, but you have no problem killing your own mother. Or doesn't she need that surgery anymore? I'll get the money. I'll sell a kidney. I'll place a bet. But if you want that woman killed, you'll have to kill her yourself. You don't get it. You and I have a contract. Kill her, or we kill you. You'll try. Stop! Nightwatch! Olga, this is an honor. It isn't often that the Nightwatch takes an interest in the lawful initiation of a Dark Other. You know her? She a cop? He's no more a Dark Other than I am. Look at him. What? Nightwatch set this up! Run! Stas, I'll take out as many as I can. Hide there. Damn it! What the hell's going on? First, do not swear. Second, do exactly what I say. Third, well, I'll explain everything to you. If you live. Nah. Broke a rib. We need to heal you. Check your bad guy for supplies. Steal his stuff? This is war. You'll need to take every advantage. Eat the apple. Eat the apple? Who are you now? Eve? <laughs> You'd be surprised. Eat the apple and see what happens. It's time for you to start getting used to miracles. You'll be seeing a lot more of them. How do you feel? My ribs feel better. What the hell was in that apple? Morphine. Magic. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it was truly a pleasure to meet you. The Dark Ones are coming for you. Where is your sniper rifle? I tossed it over the side of the roof. Good. You won't be needing it. But you'll need this. A flashlight? It can help you in the perpetual fight between the forces of light and darkness. It is an eternal struggle hidden to the eyes of human beings. You don't get it. I can see your crazy little war just fine. And you don't get that you are not human. You are an other. You were born aligned to the light, as they were born aligned to the dark. But they violated the Great Armistice Treaty by trying to convert you. Do you get it now? No. Then get this. They're waiting for you. They're going to kill you if they can. Use the flashlight. Lady, this is a normal flashlight. It is no more normal than the apple. Or you. You need to get to the next roof. Do you understand? That's the first thing you've said that I can understand. I will be close by, but you won't see me. Now. I'm dead. Damn it. 
stop me. There is a hidden enemy. I can reveal him. Ah! You are dead. Went to the fight. Gone again. Why do you keep disappearing? I'm stepping into the gloom. What does that mean? The gloom is a parallel dimension to the visible world around us. The gloom looks and feels familiar, yet it is quite different. You can influence people in the visible world, but you are also safe from their attacks, like from bullets. Take me there. You have to take yourself. We can show you how, if you join us. But you must choose a particular path. What are my choices? Mage, Enchanter, or Shapeshifter. All three fight in their own way. Mages wield magical energies to cast spells. Enchanters can enchant ordinary objects or living things. Shapeshifters are able to transform their bodies into various creatures. Now choose. Good choice. Really? Why? Making the choice itself is what's good. It's what sets you on a path to bring your inner light into this world. Okay. Teach me. Not now. We should go to Nightwatch headquarters. You need to meet the boss. The Great Geyser. I haven't exactly said that I'm working for you yet. Are you saying you are not? Not exactly. Then go to the metro station. Agent Vera will meet you there in one half hour. She'll take you to meet Geyser. What about you? Duty calls. Remember, you are working for the light. Try to act like it. Help people. Protect them when you can. And do not step into the gloom before you're absolutely ready. Wait! No time. Meet Vera. Stay out of trouble. Yeah. Thanks, Olga. You two! Are you freaking blind? Can't you see? The station is closed! What happened? What's it to you, buddy? Technical difficulties, okay? That's all you need to know. Beat it, kid. Get out of here! How long will it be closed? I have a meeting. You got a meeting? You got a meeting in a subway station? What, you think I'm an idiot or something? Who the hell are you? Yeah, I got it. You're one of those uninitiated little beams of light, aren't you? Let me give you some advice. 
Walk away now, or I'm popping your head off like a cork and serving your blood with a nice liver and some fava beans. You're going to need some help with that, my friend. Help? How about my entire police unit, huh? Can't you see I'm a police vamp- a police major? Nice to meet you, comrade police vampire. I'm done with you. Squad 2, pull this freak downtown. What's going on here? Who the hell are you? Nightwatch. Like I give a crap. You're under arrest. Shut up! Behave! Now tell us why the station is closed. It's a crime scene, okay? Police business. You want to know what happened? Kiss my ass is what happened. So pack her up, or get out of here. You tell me to leave again, and you will be sorry you woke up for work today. You can't talk to me like that. I'm an officer of the law. I'm a captain major. I'm always sorry when I wake up for work. This conversation is over. I've got a crime scene to process. At least he stopped trying to kick us out. Are you Stas? Yeah. You miss Vera? Mm, just Vera. The major is a dark vampire. Yeah, I could have pretty much told you that. Aren't all cops dark though? A lot are. Some work for the light. But you know, truly, most cops are just plain old human beings. So what you're saying is it could be technical difficulties. The Major could just be doing his job, being rude and keeping people out. No, I don't think so. Dark and Light are fighting here. I feel it. You will do after Nightwatch training. Not all Light others join the Nightwatch? That's right. Nightwatch is the combat division of the Forces of Light. We're the ones who make sure the Dark Ones obey the treaty. Oh, like a police force? Kind of. The forces of darkness have the day watch. That's how they keep an eye on us. Another police force? That's another way of looking at it. You should have a third police force to keep the other two from killing each other. We do, actually. The third police force is called the Inquisition. When we get back to Nightwatch headquarters, the Great Gazer will tell you all about them. But first, I want to know what that police vampire is up to. You got a halogen lamp? Isn't it bright enough in here? No, I mean to fight with. Like a sword. Take mine. Now that you can defend yourself, what do you think we should do? Vera, could the Major be working for Daywatch? If he's Daywatch, he'd have identified himself. That means he has to obey the Nightwatch? Yes, he does. By the book. Then let's pull a little rank on the bastard. After you.
Comrade Major. Let us through. You can't stop us. We're night watch. Is that how you talk to a police major? Who the hell do you think you are? You are nothing. You're not even initiated. Now get out of here, you little bitch. I hate to do this, Major, but you really asked for it. Hello. Gazer, hold on. It's Stas. Yeah, I'll hold. Boris! Hey, listen. I wouldn't bother you unless it were really important, but we got a bit of a situation. The whole metro station is blocked off, but there's a vampire in a police uniform and, get this, he's refusing to cooperate with the Night Watch, huh? Tell him he's being rude, too. You don't scare me. He's swearing like some drunken cell. Oh, can he say that about the treaty? Okay, it'll all be in our official report. You're lying, Keith. Excuse me? You're sending a battalion? I mean, a battalion of light mages is kind of overkill. He's just... Oh, okay. You know what? We'll handle it. Seriously, it's fine. No problem. Yeah, and I'll come by afterwards for a beer. Cool. Okay, so if we need that battalion bowl, we'll give you a buzz, definitely. Yeah, peace out. All right, Mr. Major, I'll need to get your information for the official report. We'll be sending it up the proverbial chain of command. Zabulon. Yeah, him too. Vera, make sure to CC Zavulon, our report. Jeez, come on, you were holding a piece of paper to your ear. You know, I was born at night, it's just not last night. Yeah, you look almost smart enough to recognize a de-incarnated cell phone when it's right in front of your face. Cast an aura on an object, might as well leave the cell phone at home. Connection goes right through the aura. Any light mage can do it. He doesn't need to know our secrets, Das. All right, Major. First and last name, badge number. Precinct number also. You never know. This is stupid, eh? What the hell did I do to you? You were rude. And you refused to cooperate with Nightwatch. What is this? This is cooperating. Did I toss you out? No, I did not. You're standing right here. Yes, you're being very cooperative. You were about to tell us why the station is closed? It's nothing. A couple of drunks fighting in a train car. Smashed in each other's head with bottle. How many were injured? What difference does it make? Two, maybe three, four, I don't know, five tops. Nightwatch is going to have to take a look at the train. Is that going to be a problem? My men have been through there a hundred times already. Why waste your time? Speaking of wasting time, where were we? First and last name? Badge number? Precinct also. Damn it. Uh, okay, go. Let them through. They're from night... From the prosecutor's office. The aura is so dark, I feel my blood freezing. Something horrible manifested here just 30 minutes ago. Do you feel it? I feel something. Deep, deep pain, fear. I don't feel any traces of enchantment. So what do you think went down here? I have no idea. Keep looking. Speak up, please. You there, in the fifth car. Who are you? It's me. Me who? Me passenger. Passenger? All the passengers have been taken to the hospital. All those who accepted the darkness. Darkness? The darkness inside every one of us. You can feel its yearning. You only have to let it work for you. Just give in to it. Then everything will feel just right. Try it! He's conducting a demoralization. He is forcing them into the dark. Arrest him. Right away. Okay.
I'm dead. Okay. I'm dead. Okay. Light ones. Whoever lets you in here is going to have to answer to me. Okay. I'm dead. Raj, no. I'm dead. That way, can't do it. Hold on, brother. Just hold on there. He stepped into the gloom. Whoa, you can do that? I just learned, but I'm not very good at it. What about you? No. Try. Not right now. Right now is all we have. Do it. Too popular with these creeps. Inquisition! Everyone, out of the gloom! I am Maxim, Inquisitor of the Third Rank, Capital Inquisition, Emergency Section. Please do not move. Do not touch anything. Do not speak unless I give permission. Violators will be sanctioned severely. Now, what transpired here? The Dark Forces violated the treaty. Unauthorized demoralization of all the passengers in the fifth train car. The train conductor executed a magical intervention over the public address system. Twenty victims. And this vampire is helping him. How did he conduct this alleged demoralization? Over the train's PA. He demoralized them instead of just announcing the train stops. Through the public address system? Over the loudspeakers? Impossible. Magical interventions cannot occur using electricity. Whatever you say, you know, I'm new to all this crap. But I'm just telling you, that's exactly what the guy did. That's your version of events. Train driver, 
What happened here? I heard the voice. The voice of darkness. It said to me, you are the Messiah. Rise and go! Bring the purity of darkness to the people! Whose voice did you hear? And what precisely is the purity of darkness? It is beyond your comprehension. And now, it is done. The Messiah returns to darkness. Hold him! Idiot! Quiet! We honor the memory of the other. Why did he do it? Something is very wrong. Magical intervention cannot occur through electronic devices. An other cannot commit suicide. I must take this case to higher authorities. What about us? Until our investigation is complete, you may not discuss these events with anyone. But why? What will you do to us? What's your decision? The Dark is in clear violation of treaty. The forces of light may now heal the injured and perform remoralization on all living subjects. How many? Twenty. So, the light may remoralize the 20 survivors, in the name of the gloom. That is my decision. Sounds good to me. This incident is closed. If we have further inquiries, we'll summon you. Always keep your pretty little eyes open, because you'll be seeing me again. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Boris Ignatievich Gesser, the Great Other. If that sounds a bit grandiose, you should know that after a couple hundred years, all mages are referred to as great. I'm Stas. You really don't look a day over, uh, 200. Are you ready to join the Night Watch? I'll say yes. The thing is, I can't help you much while my mom is sick. What's wrong with her? Cardiac centrosis. I need a lot of money for her operation. Well, the more imaginary the illness, the more the doctor charges. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing as cardiac centrosis. She was so sick, the doctor had to rush to the house. A doctor who makes house calls? That should have been your first clue. Then he diagnoses your mother at home without any medical tests or equipment, and you believed him? Uh, yeah. You're not the first person to be deceived by the Dark Ones. But you could have been the first Light One dragged into the darkness, if not for Olga. Those bastards! I'll kill them all! You're so quick to kill, even after we saved you from taking the life of an innocent? Wake up, Light Other. Why insist on seeking revenge when you should be happy that your mother is well? Huh. Good point. I can't help you with vengeance. But if you wish to protect the innocent, I urge you to join Nightwatch. I'll do it. Excellent. Uh, you'll need to know about the struggle between the Light and the Dark Ones. Uh, did Olga tell you about the Treaty and the Inquisition? Not really. Listen carefully. There is a battle going on between the forces of Light and Dark. A struggle which ordinary human beings cannot see. However, on rare occasions someone is born aligned to either the Light or to the dark. That person is known as an other. You and I are light. The vampires you fought are dark. Centuries ago, the two armies nearly annihilated each other. As a result, they agreed to sign the Great Armistice Treaty. The Armistice created the Night Watch so that we may ensure that the dark complies with the treaty. 
It also created the day watch, so that the dark could keep their eyes on us as well. Over both sides is the Inquisition, which serves to adjudicate our more uh, complicated disputes. This is your oath. We are others. There are those of us who serve the light, and those of us who serve the dark. But in the gloom, there are no differences between us. To keep our fight from destroying the world, we pledge to uphold the Great Armistice Treaty. We respect the authority of the Night Watch to guard against the forces of darkness. And we respect the authority of the Day Watch to guard against the forces of light. Only time and fate shall judge an ultimate victor. I, a Light One, now join the ranks of the Night Watch and swear on my honor to serve faithfully the forces of light. I swear to serve faithfully the forces of light. Welcome to the good fight. Of course. He actually joined the fight before he joined us. Yes, the Metro. Bad business. Did I do something wrong? You did better than we'd hoped. Nevertheless, the Inquisition now knows about the Metro incident. But that shouldn't be your concern. I'll deal with it. The mysteries of the Great Other. Take my word for it. The less you know, the better you'll sleep. Some field work will help put it out of your mind. One of our best agents has an important assignment. Vera, take him to Tigra. Any questions? What about all those people at the Metro who got hurt? They'll need to be remoralized. But as I said, let me worry about that. You go now, and may the light go with you. <laughs>